Hi, higher chemistry pupils. Welcome back to your chemistry learning for this week, which is week seven. Um, we are, as always, um, here for you to help you with your learning. So remember to contact your teacher if you need anything at all. Um, and remember, if we're giving you feedback through um, a live lesson or through show my homework or through um, a quiz or something, please make sure that you take time to reflect on that feedback and then ask if you need any extra help with anything okay and um, we're moving on to a new section we're moving on to unit 3b today so normally we would give you a paper copy of the booklet but you'll have a digital copy to access um, if you want to print it out then I suppose you could do that and we will try and arrange to have some paper copies um, available for you to pick up from school if we would rather not print more copies than we need to so if you let us know that you want to print a copy then we'll sort that out for you and you can pick it up just message your teacher um, so this is uh, day one so let's have a look at what the learning is today today we're starting off with a lesson on the chemical industry where you're going to learn the key considerations of the chemical industry and complete a research task. And then the second lesson for today is an introduction to molar volume, looking at gases. And then your day two learning will be more uh, work on reacting gas volumes and then completing a learning check. So day one, lesson one, you're gonna spend the first part of the lesson watching a video on the economic and environmental considerations in the chemical industry and then uh, as you watch the video, you should be taking notes because this is brand new learning. So this is new for everybody and it's really important that you take time to let your brain absorb the information and make sure you understand it. The next part of the lesson is um, you're going to follow an instruction sheet to carry out research on the manufacture of a chemical. So I'll give you a whole bunch of chemicals that you can choose from and you're going to uh, try to um, see one chemical in the context of the considerations that we've just learned. So um, you don't need to know, you don't need to uh, memorize this. This is just to give you a flavor of um, the kind of context that one chemical would have. So for example, you might research methanol, you might research sulfur dioxide and learn a bit about the different considerations for the manufacture of that specific chemical but you don't need to, um, to, to learn any specifics of any manufacturing process for hire. It's just so that when you, have a, when you see questions that are about specific processes, then you've kind of got already an idea of what sort of things uh, are discussed. So um, there'll be a bunch of links for you to get started with your research, and then you just carry out further uh, searches on Google as needed to find out supplementary information. And then what you're going to submit is either a mind map or a, a page of bullet points that are organized under different headings covering the main features of that manufacturing process. And this should be submitted via Show My Homework. For lesson two, you're going to start off by watching the video on molar gas volumes, again, taking complete notes because this is new learning. So you'll need to be pausing the video so that you've got time to write down um, things that should be in your jotter. And then the submission for uh, lesson two today is completing the forms quiz so multiple choice quiz and uh, just having a look at some of the calculations and some of the definitions from that lesson that you will have learned um, throughout these lessons you'll need to have your data book and calculator handy because it's quite um, number rich this topic if you manage to complete that within the time and you still have um, a wee bit of time left to uh, study chemistry, then I'd like you to have a look at the animation software available from the University of Colorado website. It's just really nice um, simulation like of the behavior and properties of gases because this is a very kind of abstract concept we're just thinking about it we, we don't see the particles of gas um, and we're obviously not doing any experiments on this section so it's just to give you a wee flavor of how um, gases behave um, and this is all all of this is extension it's beyond the scope of the higher course but it does help sometimes to um see to kind of understand what we're learning about when we're talking about gases if you can visualize uh, how the particles are behaving so the website's really useful for that um, i hope you enjoy today's learning and please do get in touch with your teacher via email show my homework or commenting on teams if there's anything at all we can do for you and um, keep in touch and take care bye bye <laughs>